Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Aloha and welcome to Small Biz Adventures in Small Business, a collaborative effort by the SBA Small Business Administration, VBOC Veterans Business Outreach Center of the Pacific, SBDC Small Business Development Center of Hawaii, and MCBL, the Patsy T. Mink Center for Business and Leadership, all great partners. I'm Terry Funakoshi and I'm your host today. And I'm so excited to have Julie Arakaki with us today. So Julie, I'm gonna have to read your title, it's so long. <laughs> She's such a great entrepreneur. Owner Hawaii Wedding Style Magazine, the best Hawaii wedding and found wedding, and founder of Wedding Week Hawaii. Sorry about that. No so worries. Julie, tell us about um, your background. So I'm actually a journalism major with a speech minor from the University of Hawaii at Manoa. And um, immediately after school, I started working for a photographer where I picked up the photography trade. Uh, I had moments memories photography for about 10 years where I was a professional wedding photographer and portrait photographer. And then in 2006, um, we were given the opportunity to purchase Hawaii Bride and Groom magazine at that time and um, from the original uh, founder, Bridget Adams. And so at that point, my brother-in-law, who's also a graphic artist uh, or designer, um, asked if we wanted to purchase this, the publication. And I said, hey, yeah, no problem, because I was an advertiser with that magazine for my wedding photography and um, knew that it was a really good resource um, as far as advertising. Um, I, you know, I had a lot of success from that, so I thought you know, it would really be a good opportunity for us to do so. so 2006, no, I'm sorry, yeah, 2006, we purchased a publication and pretty much learned as we went along. Oh, wow, <laughs> that's great. But uh, tell me about, about you too, Julie. I know you have a, a beautiful family and it's kind of a family yeah. business, you just said, right? Right, so my brother-in-law is my business partner. Mm -hmm. um, my husband, Keith Aragaki, um, you know, he's not in the business, uh -huh. but um, he does give me moral support and mm -hmm. you know, he'll give me advice every so often. Okay. And then we have our two children, Arian Aragaki mm -hmm. and Aston Michael Aragaki. Yeah. Um, they're actually 25 and 28, so they're not babies, mm -hmm. but they're still our babies. Oh, great. <laughs> I know, I've known you for a few years, so I know that Julie has a wonderful, supportive family. So, you know, it's hard to be a, a woman entrepreneur and everything, so family support is important. Yes, it just being the fact that you're the mother and you're, you know, having to make sure that the house mm -hmm. is running properly, and then also, you know, being able to run the business. Um, it is a little bit challenging, but you know, you have a good support team. It just makes things a whole lot easier. Right, right. So tell us a little bit about the magazine. So the magazine, um, when we took it over in 2006, we actually gave it a little bit of a makeover. Um, what we do is all of the content in our publication are Hawaii weddings. We don't feature anything outside of the islands. And for us, it's really, really important for us to promote our um, industry in Hawaii. Uh, I don't know if you, you know or a lot of people know, but the wedding industry worldwide is about $220 billion. Wow. So basically, out of that $220 billion, our islands or our state will be fighting for every piece that they can get. And so what we need to do is we need to make it easier and for people to understand what it is that our incredible um, wedding specialists can do here in the islands. So um, we highlight um, real weddings mm -hmm. that have taken place throughout the state. Uh, we want to showcase the talented wedding professionals that we have in our state and um, to really elevate our industry by showcasing what Hawaii has to offer and that we can compete with Los Angeles and New York because we have the talent here. We have beautiful weather right. and amazing beaches and yeah, so I mean it's just everything um, is perfect for a destination here, wedding here in Hawaii. I know, when I was looking through the magazine, I noticed, uh, like you said, all uh, it's all about Hawaii and there's so many Hawaii vendors in there. 
I mean, you, you know, the wedding industry I know supports a lot of small businesses, and, and just in the wedding industry, I mean, I always tease you that you're the queen of weddings. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, tell us how many vendors are actually comprised of this wedding in Hawaii? Um, you know, wedding, the wedding industry here in Hawaii, I mean, we have hundreds of businesses, and because if you think about it, it's your photographers, it's mm -hmm. your caterers, it's your florists, it's your venues, it's your videographers, your wedding coordinators. So, you know, in each of those categories, you have you know a lot a, a right. lot of vendors to choose from so it is a big industry but a lot of people also don't realize the fact that our industry really plays a huge role in the uh, tourism mm -hmm. economy here in our islands because for uh, every uh, we'll use the Japanese weddings for example so for every couple that comes to Hawaii to get married from Japan they on average bring in 12 and a half bodies to our state wow. and so that's affecting our hotel accommodations it's affecting the shopping the dining the activities so it does play a huge role in the tourism economy here in our islands great and I know that you are talking about um, because You've been in the business so long, it kind of spurred into another business. <laughs> you know, the can you tell us about that? Yeah, so every I, I think for me, whenever I do something, I have to be passionate about it. I always tell myself if I'm not passionate about something that I'm currently doing in 10 years, I don't think it's right for me to do it right. just because it wouldn't be fair for the people that we're servicing. Mm -hmm. And then it also wouldn't be fair to me. Um, but we found that there was a need, um, so we created the Best Hawaii Wedding. Um, what that is, it's a company that actually markets and manages smaller venues. So as a um, smaller venue who maybe like um, has an owner that has like one property, um, he really doesn't have the resources or maybe the even the manpower to market and then manage the weddings that take place on property. So that's where our company, The Best Hawaii Wedding, comes in where we actually do all of the marketing with our platforms as well as manage weddings on those properties. And so what we do is we utilize the advertisers that we have in our magazine to be able to, um, I guess, provide services for those weddings. So we, you know, we try to kind of loop everything together and connect everything that way. Um, but yeah, I mean, we, we want to make it easy for people to find a venue if they're planning a destination wedding or even someone here locally, but to find the venue and being able to make sure that they're confident that they'll be able to show up and they'll have this wedding that they've always dreamed of because, you know, it, most of the times it's a once in a lifetime right. event, <laughs> so. Great, so you have um, business to consumer, the magazine is to consumers, business to business, you help the um, wedding, um, the venues, you help the businesses find the venues. So what kind of venues are there in Hawaii that you're you're working with or featuring? Okay, so with, um, so for, the uh, let's see, Hawaii Wedding Style Magazine. Mm -hmm. What we do is we actually um, help all of the our advertisers. So it could be hotels, mm -hmm. it could be individual properties, it could be um, companies that are coordination companies that maybe have a venue that they work off of. Um, but we also do have, um, I think, eight properties that we have um, for the Best Hawaii Wedding. Mm -hmm. And so it ranges anywhere from a chapel, uh, chapel um, locations, private homes. Um, we also just picked up the Vita Mia. So mm -hmm. I, I think we have a photo of that. So the Vita, Vita Mia is a very historic boat. I think it's been around since the 1800s. Wow. Um, Louis Vuitton rode on that boat. Mm -hmm. uh, Elizabeth Taylor would actually, um, you know, rent the boat out while she was on vacation. Um, so it does have a huge history of people that have been on it. Um, but it was just actually recently certified with the Coast Guard to accommodate a larger party. So now we're able to do a 38 wedding party. 38 people wedding party on that boat. What we do is we take it out, dock it in front of Diamond Head, and then perform the ceremony there. And then they can also have um, their, you know, small cocktail party or yeah. the reception in there. So, so romantic. Yeah, no, it is really romantic. Yeah, and yeah. you know, if you did it on a Friday night in front yeah. of the Hilton, uh -huh. you'll get the fireworks. Hilton fireworks. Yeah. So, <laughs> awesome. yeah, so we try to do things that are innovative, yeah. that things, um, I guess, you wouldn't really think of mm -hmm. um, as far as wedding locations, but we, want to try to provide that for somebody that wants something a little different. 
Oh, that's great. So we have the, the magazine, <laughs> we have um, your, the, the venues and helping the advertisers. And then you have another portion, right? Yes, yeah, so we just came up um, two years ago, we launched um, Wedding Week Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And Wedding Week Hawaii basically is a project that um, I thought we needed or our state needed to really bring our industry together. Um, you know, it's, it's like I always believe in, um, yeah, that's a photo of our team. Um, I always believe in that um, it's really important for people to work together. A lot of times people view others as competitors, and yes, they are, but I feel like if everyone can work together, there really is a lot of business. And you can't do all of the weddings. You know, your right. company can't do all of the weddings. So it really helps to kind of... Um, you know, get together and, you know, form a unity. And so Wedding Week was created two years ago. And what I wanted was I wanted to really bring our industry together. I wanted it to be easy for wedding planners, wedding co coordinators for destination weddings, and anyone wanting to plan a wedding easier. Because, uh, you know, working with um, the coordination side, the best Hawaii weddings, we were actually able to listen to and learn what brides or wedding planners struggle with when planning a wedding, a destination wedding here in the islands. And so what we wanted to do is we wanted to make it so easy that, you know, it would be a no-brainer for them to come here. Mm -hmm. So that's what we did is we, you know, reached out to our fellow wedding specialists. And, you know, it'd be, you'd be surprised. There were a lot of people that stepped up and really felt that it was a need. And basically, it's a love um, project. Mm -hmm. So everyone volunteers their time. Um, we all unify. It, it's a week long um, of events that we do throughout the state, actually. So we have participation on Oahu. We had participation last year from Maui and then the Big Island. So eventually we want it to be really statewide and um, really bring our state together as far as highlighting Hawaii as the premier wedding destination. Wow, that's a great big project. <laughs> so, you know, I know it's a week long, so can you tell me like some of the lessons learned? Um, you know, how did you guys debrief? You know, what what's going forward? Yeah, so what we've done is, um, you know, I think we've made huge progress in, the, in two years. Um, and we're all really proud of that. Uh, we've started working with um, a Hawaii Tourism Association and the individual, so Wahoo Visitors Bureau, Kauai Visitors Bureau, Maui Visitors Bureau, and we're working with them to see like what it is that we can do to make it more beneficial to everybody. And so one of it being that because we're trying to bring in um, wedding planners and um, travel partners from all over the world, um, we want to kind of now consider doing it on a low season, so where the hotel rooms are a little bit less, so people, it's more affordable for people to come to wedding week. And so for 2019, we're actually going to be moving it from February to October. Okay. And so, I don't know if you know, but um, I think um, engagement season starts um, in November, like about uh, Thanksgiving. Oh, I didn't then, know that. Okay, so there is kind of like an engagement season. Oh, uh, but it's so it's around Thanksgiving and it ends on Valentine's Day. Oh. And so immediately after that is kind of when everybody starts ramping up for wedding planning, right? So what we wanted to do is we wanted to give the travel partners out there the opportunity to know what we have to offer as a state and to be able to get them ready to help all of these people wanting to plan a destination wedding, oh, the resources for them to do so. Wow, that's great. I'm, I'm learning a lot. So <laughs> we're going to take a, a quick break, one minute, and when we come back, we're going to learn more about the wedding industry with Julie Aragaki. Thank you. Uh, Hello, I'm Dave Stevens, host of the Cyber Underground. This is where we discuss everything that relates to computers that's just going to scare you out of your mind. So come join us every week here on thinktechhawaii.com, 1 p.m. on Friday afternoons. And then you can go see all our episodes on YouTube. Just look up the Cyber Underground on YouTube. All our shows will show up. And please follow us. We're always giving you current, relevant information to protect you, keeping you safe. Aloha. Aloha, I am Howard Wig. I am the proud host of 
Code Green for Think Tech Hawaii. I appear every other Monday at 3, and I have really, really exciting guests on the exciting topic of energy efficiency. Hope to see you there. Welcome back. We're with Julie Aragaki. I'm just going to call you the queen of weddings already because <laughs> I'm learning so much today. So Julie, um, you know, for the business side, uh, people watching, wanting to get into the wedding business or they're already in the business and, and they want to move forward, uh, can you give us some uh, tips, suggestions uh, on, on what they should do, how they should uh, take those challenges? So I really believe, again, working together. So, you know, coming up, I mean, it's good to work with a variety of people, but, you know, find people that you trust and that you work well together. Um, because, you know, when you think about it, it's not just one person at, a, at um, or helping somebody at their wedding. It's a team or a village of people that actually have to come together to and work cohesively to give a bride and groom their dream wedding. So, you know, if, if you find that there's people that you work with, because, um, I mean, you know, in, in everything, you always have people that you can work with, and for some reason, you just mesh, and just everything flows, like, really, really nicely. So I encourage people to, you know, get out there, maybe um, join some of the um, professional wedding associations. You know, there is, um, every island has a chapter. Uh, there is Oahu um, Wedding Association. There's Maui Wedding Association. Uh, there is the Hawaii Island Wedding Association and the Kauai Professional Wedding Association. So each island has a chapter. Um, it's a good way to network that way. Um, and I noticed that a lot of people are doing like little pop-up events. So they're doing little um, mini wedding weeks, or I guess, like so, uh, you know, I think Kahala um, Hotel is having one in, uh, I think, September, October. Um, but it's a showcase. And what they do is they open up their property, and they have all these wedding specialists come um, and showcase what they have to offer. And again, it's like their little unit that I think they feel comfortable working with. And that's kind of what they do to really help showcase what that property can do. So a lot of people are doing that. But I really believe it's just getting um, together with other professionals in the industry to see what's out there, see what you can do, see, you know, do innovative things um, to elevate our industry. Um, you know, volunteer for Wedding Week. Um, it's, it, it's really, really good. You know, the, the positive comments that we've had from Wedding Week is the fact that in, if it wasn't for Wedding Week, you know, they would have never worked with this other vendor. But because, you know, you have to work together to execute a week long worth of events, you know, it takes a lot of people to do that. So we depend on a lot of people. And I think, you know, friendships have been made and, um, you know, business relationships have been made. I think the special thing for our islands is because we all have that aloha spirit, you know. Mm -hmm. um, you're born and raised here and that's how it is. And, you know, to help one another out, I think is really, really important. Um, you know, and on, on the Hawaii bride side, you know, if, you know, you want to join our, we call it our Hawaii, um, Hawaii wedding style family, um, we'll be more than happy to help you and, you know, showcase your work. Um, you know, we do a lot of collaboration. So when we put our editorials, um, our editorial layout together in the magazine, we actually reach out to um, our current advertising pool mm -hmm. and we ask them to collaborate. And so a lot of times they're working with people that they, they've normally wouldn't have collaborated with before. And so that's my whole thing is I feel like I was put on this planet to bring people together. You know, like I feel like I'm a Rolodex of <laughs> wedding. <laughs> the wedding queen connector. <laughs> <laughs> and just putting people together that need help. You know, yeah. like I think this person would be a great fit yeah. here. And so that's, I feel like that's what my role is and that's what I was put on this planet to do. Well, that's just awesome. to connect people. Yeah. <laughs> and I know you um, also, for on the business side, for business help, um, 
how, how would you, what would you recommend if they need help with their business or legal matters or anything like that? Well, I mean, it's not a plug or anything, but right. <laughs> so, you know, I really believe that uh, the Patsy, Patsy Mink Business Center is a really good resource, especially for women um, entrepreneurs. Um, I feel, you know, I think, I don't, I, I mean, I don't know if this is true, but I feel like, you know, you have to balance your family and then you're trying to run this business. You know, it's, it's, it's hard, and I think having the support, no, what I just, even knowing that you just have this support somewhere, that you can kind of call on them anytime that you have a question or you, you know, le need legal advice, advice, you can always, you know, just pick up the phone or email and just reach out to someone at the center and they'll give you, um, you know, helpful advice. And, uh, you know, sometimes if you have to consult with your attorney, it just, you know, it kind of adds up. So by having your resource, um, I feel like it really supports the um, business, women entrepreneurs. And I think just having that relationship and just knowing that the friendship and um, the support is really, really important for anyone that is trying to uh, maintain a small business or starting up a small business. So uh, in the wedding industry, is it mostly women or do you know what the breakdown is? I don't know what the percentage is, okay. but I want to say probably more majority women than men, but we do have, you know, some, we have um, Jez with Jez Events, he's, you know, a male uh, wedding coordinator. Mm -hmm. So we have like a lot of, um, you know, men in the industry and, you know, your videographers and your photographers. Um, but I want to say, you know, it's a, it's a little bit more skewed to the female. Yeah, because I remember saying, you know, um, a lot of women entrepreneurs feel needs so I think we know what we want for the wedding, so we got to make sure it's there. And that's how a lot of coordinators get started. Get start, right? They plan their own wedding, and mm -hmm. they said, okay, well, that was fun, like, and they don't want it to end. Right. So they become wedding coordinators so they can be at a wedding every week, right? right yeah. And that's a good thing about weddings. You know, I mean, it is a stressful day, mm -hmm. but I feel like you're actually part of someone's life. Mm -hmm. You know, you're making, in your own little way, you're kind of making a, a huge difference, right, right in someone's life life and um, you know at the end of the day it's a really happy um, occasion and it's so awesome to be able to be a part of that um, 365 days of the year. Right. Right? So should I ask you how many weddings have you been involved in? Well um, Do I don't even know. I, I guess if you added up all the businesses like I really can't tell you. Wow. <laughs> No wonder you look so happy all the time. <laughs> you know, I think that, you know, the photography part of it, I was able to interact, directly interact, because I think coordinators and photographers spend the most time with the wedding couple. And just having that relationship and being able to interact and seeing, like, the happiness and joy of making a difference means so much to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know you have a really good eye because I've seen all the work you've done and it's tremendous. So. Thank you. Yeah, I know everyone who's uh, worked with you say, say only good things. So. Aw, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> so on that, I want to know, like, you know, how how do we get involved? Do you, I know you said you need volunteers for wedding week. Um, what, what does that look like? Uh, can anybody volunteer? Or? Yeah, I mean, we actually have help from the um, the UH Business School. Oh. Um, we are the marketing association and then we also uh, are going to be working with the uh, Tim school so travel industry management school um, but you know we want volunteers I mean we need models we need people that are helping us plan these events we need you know just just somebody just looking over volunteers or I mean Really, the more help that we can get, the bigger that we can grow Wedding Week mm -hmm. um, and hopefully generate more income for our wedding industry, but also uh, to help with our, our tourism economy as well. Well, that's, that's really great. Can we uh, give them a website where they can get in touch or any contact information? Yeah, so my personal email address is julie at hawaiibride.com. Uh, they can always go to uh, hawaiibride.com, which is our magazine website. We have the best hawaiiwedding.com, which is our uh, marketing and venue management company. And then we also have um, weddingweekhawaii.com, which is about wedding week. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you.
so much, Julie. It was a pleasure having you here today. Thank you. And uh, so please stay tuned for Adventures in Small Business every Thursday at 11 o'clock. I'm Terry, and thank you for joining us.